tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hello friends, welcome and have a nice time with this tutorial. I think it's pretty short and we get to the point very fast. It uh, tells a little bit of a story like always but uh, it you can melt it down to maybe one command here. If you go to FX, N here and it's make selected curves dynamic. We're making a curve dynamic. You can make several curves which you select in the scene dynamic all at the same time but we'll only deal with one. So um, under curves and surfaces this tab here if you under animation or whatever you see just go to the left tab here and you see curves and surfaces and uh, let us go to the top window and draw a curve with this tool here. Uh, make the dots not too wide from each other because we need some kind of resolution here for our dynamic curve. When you're finished, you press Enter. You go back to the perspective view here and move the curve up like this. Next thing you're going to do is make it dynamic, and that's exactly the command I just showed you. You need to be under FX here because it's a special effect now, and hair has dynamic properties, whereas this curve just sits there and waits. And hair make selected curves dynamic. Now we'll extend the frame range. We want to see more of what's happening here. Extend this to 1000 and just to make sure in the timeline right mouse click playback speed and set it to play every frame maximum real time so it doesn't go too fast. So uh, now we have a dynamic curve. which is already something very nice. Yeah, now you might ask, can we render this? Well, of course you can, because uh, when you select the curve and control A, the attribute editor, you find an Arnold section here where you can render the curve. And usually the curve width is not really wide, so just extend this a little bit and you'll see it all right. You need of course a light, a sky dome light for example, and then you can render the scene, for example here in the viewport. So the gray thing here is the rendered curve. Maybe I go back to the viewport now, I select this curve again, and now I make it emit particles, n particles. You see n hair was the previous uh, menu we were visiting here, make uh, selected curves dynamic. We s stay in the N scene here which created the nucleus. That's why it's uh, the nucleus is the dynamic core of this uh, simulation. It sits here. It doesn't matter where it sits really. It's, uh, it provides the gravity and the air density etc. Uh, we go to N particles and we want to emit particles from that object. And this is what it looks like. Now you might ask, how do they, the particles render? Because when you render the scene, you see that curve, which is just nice, but we need to see the particles. Very simple, and with this I close this tutorial. N particles, you select the particles. And first of all, I would change the lifespan. The lifespan currently is, it's lived, they live forever. That means they fall down forever, although you will not see them there. So you better go to, uh, random range and change the lifespan in the random range to say five seconds and the randomness to one and the just a fantasy number for the general seed uh, you can leave it at zero if you like and uh, the particle size uh, is not important yet you go down to the how they look and that's under shading under shading you see points and we want, in order to render them all right, little spheres. And here they are. You can close this section now. 
and go up now again to the particle size and now you can reduce that size to say 0.1 the radius so they're getting smaller and uh, now you have this simulation and I made several tutorials about particle simulation and particle colors and behavior and uh, but I'll leave you here and have a nice day bye bye